Hello, welcome to Ekdel, where we train future superman structural engineers. My name is Fashet Uchet. Today in Ekdel, we want to show you how to model your RAMs when in proto structure. It's very, very important so that when your architect gives you uh, a drawing that has to do with RAMs, whereby cars need to move from ground floor to the first floor, as you can see, to the first floor or to the first floor, second floor, third floor, etc., depending on the architectural drawing. So as you can see, as you can see this one, as you can see, let me walk you through so you can see it. As you can see it, as you can see it, this is how the car will move. You can see it. You can see how it goes. You can see how the cars are moving. This is how the car are expected to move. So as you can see it, so you can see it. This is how the car are expected what to move. As you can see it here, so you can see to another floor. You can see it here. This is another floor. This should be the second floor, if I'm right. So as you can see it, this is the second floor as we move. Or move, 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 move. As you can see it, we are moving. We are moving. Now also, sorry, as we are moving, so you can see it up to this place. So you can see it. Ah, it's moving. So we are now going to the last floor up. So to this place now, to the last floor up. So as you can see it, we are now on the last floor up. So you can see it. You can see how the cars are moving. So you can see up to this place. So you can see it now. So now I want to show you how to model your ramps such that car can move. So as you can see, the car moves like this, what I've shown you now, like this, like this, and follow this part we are seeing. As you can see it up there, you can see it here, yes, from there, you know, the car comes there and lands somewhere here. So you can see it here, you can see somewhere here. So you can see it, sorry. Okay, so you can see it. You can see it here, and the car also move. You know, see the space, you can move, move up to this place, come like this, and then all these places are what? Are for cars. So you can see. This place are for cars. So therefore, in case you have been given something like this, how do you go about it? And when the car, when they have the drivers are finished, what do they do? They have their way down, which is this place. So as you can see, they have their we have the lift here. So this is where it's expected to what to have the doors, the entrance, the landing for the when you enter the lift, you can enter here, you can land here, or if you want to go from this place, you enter through here. If you want to use staircase, you can see the staircase by the side. So that is that. So today I want to show you how do you model your ramp when it comes to Proto structure. How do you model it? So that is that. So therefore, let's go there and see what we can actually do. Is that okay? Follow us. This is just a part one. We are going to design this and see how safe it is. So as you can see, it is very very fantastic. If I show you, so you can see it. You can see the movement of the car along this side. So you can see it, how it goes and also come up. Come. You can see this place. How the cars moves and come and stay on this place. So thank you very much. Therefore, let's go there and see. You can see all these places before then. You can see. This is just like protector, handrail. You can see they are raised, they are raised around this place to protect the cars from you know flying out and all of those things. So that is that. So therefore, let's go there. Uh, all right, welcome back once again. Uh, let's now start how to model our ramps. Now, looking at this, the essence of ramps is for, as I've said, that is for vehicle to be able to move from one floor to another, and at the same, way, for example, it's been you know. Um, provided where we have a limited space, that is one, and secondly, where there are disabilities, you know, those who are on wheelchair and they are to move from first floor to the next floor with their chair, so there's no way apart from lift, you know, that is being provided for them to move into, you can also provide lift for them whereby they can just, you know, move them to the nearest floor, depending on where they are going, so that is that. Now, let's now see how we can now model whatever reasons why the architect is providing such RAM. So, how do you go about that uh, RAM? So, generally, I want to show you how to model your RAM. So, therefore, let's start. So, now, once you have it, you have finished your GA in your AutoCAD and you have modeled it. Now, the next thing is, how do you now provide the RAMs? As you can see, this one, as you can see, you can see the movement. You can see the movement of this one. You can see how it goes. You can see how it goes. You can see your arms. You can see. So very simple and easy going. So that is that. So therefore, how do you now go about uh, this? So like, just the same way, if you want to provide there, uh, what do you call it in your, um, what do you call it, um, stadium? There's a way we also go about that one too. So, but for the purpose of this uh, training, let's see how we can model our ramps. So once you have modeled it and you have gotten to this space, the next thing to do is to go to your plan. I'll go to my plan, story one plan. To the one plan because that's where I want. Okay, this is my story one plan. Now, please listen very well. Now, looking at this, where is going down? Which side is it? This place 
that I want to go to the ground or is it this place I want to go to the ground so that's first thing you must you must be able to know and be sure which side is going to touch the ground that is that and secondly now at what point is it from here that is going to go down or is from here that is going to go down is that okay or is it here that is going to go down or is it here that is going to go down so therefore if I that one is being established for the purpose of this lesson is this place I want to go down to the ground is that okay so that people can move from here I don't want to start from here so that when the car is coming maybe there is a gate here is that okay I remember so that from the gate from outside here will not be seeing the ramp you have to enter through this gate or through this gate yes because this is car you have to enter through this gate first of all and then see this open space then yeah, before you now assess what the ramps so that is that so on that ground i'm going to start my ramp from this place so before then i'm going to remove this column you see where am i stopping from here to this place no rather to this place is that okay from here to this place so i'm going to first of all remove the column highlight it this place use it now click then press delete then what am i deleting is it the beam and slab no i'm not deleting the slab i'm not deleting the beam i'm going to delete the column then click on okay that one is done let's wait for you okay it's done so as you can see it this is done so the next thing to do is to come to this place call your um concrete member from concrete member come to where we call a plan definition place sorry plane definition so click on it once we have clicked on it let's wait for it let me remove this this was what i was trying to do so let me remove this okay at if you are starting your own it's going to be something of this nature is that okay zero zero so now on this ground once you get to this place i haven't deleted the columns so the next you come to what instruction click on instruction from instruction i'm going to do what click on point is that okay i'll click on point since i'm clicking on point let me start this way you see i'm starting from here why because is this place i want it to what to go down if i want this place to go down this way i'm going to start from but because i want this place to go down that's why i'm starting from here i'll click on this one then click on this then also come come click on this and then this one so this is now it has appeared now since it has appeared then i can now do what I click on close or close this one now this place this uh, uh z and z this one where am i starting from the first one i'm going to go uh, i'm going to take it down by minus since it's going down 4100 is that okay 4100 let me take it again let me take it properly minus 4100 so as you can see 4100 that's on this side 1500 what about the other side so it's going to be also what minus 4100 so this is now the next now click on what i click on update once i click on update i'll do what i'll now click on close since i've closed it i'll now come to this place again where i'm seeing p1 because the, the whole place where you are seeing that it's being highlighted it will start as what as p1 so i'm going to click on this p1 right click and then click on what move member to what to plain definition i'll click on what i'll click on it and i'll say what yes so once that one is done let's wait for it okay it's, i think it's successful so the next thing let's go and check our 3d and see how it goes that's how it goes click on this so let's see can you see it now so do we see it so can you see it now so you can see our ram so don't forget we did let what the columns isn't it we did let those that call those columns so let's go back now i haven't deleted those columns then i'll now take the properties of this properties of this then property then uh come here this is the same property highlight it and bring it back and let's wait for it let's come it's coming so can you see can you see it now so you have placed our columns back so i'll escape it so then let's go to my 3d and see so you can now see you can see them you can see it now properly okay you see then this one is not needed i remove this one so and this one also is not needed i remove this so do you see it now so can we see it so you can see how it goes you can see around you can see how it goes from here how it moves and move and move to this place for the car to also was balance and then move start moving around so this is now so that is that now let me just quickly show you this let me quickly show you this let me show you this let's assume that as you are coming here like this you also go back again this is the story one i'm at story one why i'm doing this so if i want it to be a story two so i'll now go to story two story two where's my story two where's my story two where's my story two yes this is my story two double click let me go to plan 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 okay so the one and then click on story two where are you let me click go back then double click story two yes i'm here so now this what that one we did that story that was three one so you can see it you can see it here so now from this ground floor as i'm moving as i'm coming 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 and i landed on this first floor here isn't it as i landed on this first floor here and i want to proceed to uh, story story two i want to proceed to what to story two so i have to go to story two but this time around instead of 
this place going down i'm going to make this place to go down why because as i'm coming like this climbing like this yeah this place i need to go up like this isn't it so i'll now go to my story two go to my story two okay this is my story two let's assume i'm starting from here is that okay let's assume i'm starting from here and as, I, as i'm coming from the story one and i landed on story one from the ground floor and i landed on story one and i'm coming so on this place like this i'm coming like this so on this at this point at this point i want to do what i want to move is that okay i want this place now to go down you see i want this place to go down so what i'll do i'll first of all delete this i'll delete this since i want this one i'll delete this i'll delete this i'll delete this and this place good so click on it delete and click on remove this uncheck this one leave the column and leave this okay you see deleted isn't it so i now go back and click on concrete member click on this then once you click on it come to insertion so this time around i don't need this one i don't need this figure here i don't need that figure there so i click on insertion okay let me take it back again all right so now i'll now click on this let me say from here like this um to this place oh sorry sorry I suppose to start from here, not from there, isn't it? I suppose to start from here, isn't it? So I'll go back again. So we can see what we are doing. So I suppose to start from here because it's this place I want to go down to what? To go and meet to, to go and meet a story one. Because I'm in story two. I want to go and meet a story one. So therefore, let me remove this one because that's just not the figure. Okay, come to this place in section. Okay. I'm on in section. So I'll come here. This is what I want. From this place to this place. To this place and to this place. Okay, it's not giving me. So no problem there's no problem about that let me change direction so i also move from here let's see i'm moving like this to this place to this place and this place can you see it now so therefore that is that so the next thing i do what i will close this one so what's my figure i'm making it a minus three thousand because that's the height let me take it again minus three thousand okay i'm putting double minus oh sorry i've deleted that one that was a mistake okay i take it again i take it again like this like this like this to this and to this okay okay it's not giving me okay let me take it again okay from here to this place to this one and this one good now come to this place it's what minus three thousand then close this one come to this place and put what minus what three thousand so this is now i click on what on uh, update update this is update they updated already i click on what on close then come to this place come to this place click on it on this p right click and click on what move member to what to plain definition click on what on yes so that is that i think that is done so therefore let's go and check our our 3d and see okay this is how we entered isn't it when you move your vehicle like this or uh, Whatever you are moving, either this disable you are carrying them up and and the rest. So as you are coming, so you can see. Do you see that one we have created now? Do you see it now? So have you seen it now? So do you see it? Do you see it perfectly? What? Okay. Do you see it now? As you move up, move up to this, so you can now see it. You can see how we have moved to this place now. So you can see it. You can see how we have moved and the rest. So you can now see how we are now moving to this one again. Sorry. Um. Sorry. Sorry okay so as we move like that so you can see you can now see them so you can see it back to this place so that is that so this is how to model your what your ramp so you can see how you are moving from here like this to this place to this one and also as you move like that also to this one i come off to this place so that, that now all of this depends on what on your architectural what architectural design or sorry architectural drawing depends on it how it's been drawn by your architect that's how you are also going to you know to follow it and model it out so in nutshell this is how to model your ramp but notwithstanding i need to connect these beams isn't it they are needed to be connected so i click take this property right click let me quickly show you take the property isn't it let me take this property it's supposed to move from here like this um okay sorry 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 something is missing something is missing something is missing okay we are my as supposed to be in story story one let me go to story one okay i'm here now good okay click on this right click let me take the property property okay pick from here to this place okay and also to this one as you can see you can see how it's going perfectly okay then connect to this 
so that, do you see it now so do you see how it goes so that is that and if you want it also the other side the other side also is going to be from this place from this one to this okay and to this okay and to this and also to this am i right okay okay we are there so that is that so you can now see it you can now see how it's moving you can now see the two sides you can see it you can see so you can see so this is how to go about it in case you have not subscribed to epidel i want to say you should do so by click on subscribe button at the same time we have epidel mentorship class whereby we go further than this in training you there are some things we could not be we cannot be telling you here why because this is a free channel so but when you register or when you um, enroll for our academic mentorship class we discover that there are lots that we're going to expose you to which make you what a better engineer so that is that a structural engineer so that is that and in case you have not joined epidel group it is a place whereby others engineer other engineers comes together to work to solve each other problem for example as i'm solving, as i'm working on this if i have any challenge i can quickly post the picture it and sorry snap it and post it before you know it other engineers who already have experience you do what you quickly respond to my question and then help me to solve the problem so that is why it's very important to also join that particular group thank you so much and god bless you so that is that i think we have done this other side let me check let me close this let me go to my story two story two story two let me go to plan have you put the column okay we have not put the column so that's that so let's quickly click on this and then click on property and then move it move it move it move it move it to this okay it's coming up it's coming up yes it has come up so let's let me escape escape and then let me go to my 3d okay and let's see okay they are there you can see you can see the columns by the side you can see it you can see them so you can see it you can see the columns you can see it by the side of the ramps so you can see so that is a that is that this is how to model your ramps thank you so much till i see you in our next video whereby we are going to be analyzing and check if the modeling is perfectly okay and if they are okay we can go further in what in designing all the slabs because they are already what been loaded is that okay so that's that till i see you in our next video i remain engineer Ochet. thank you so much god bless you till then